in our lesson, we are going to be learning about time. Um, now, we have already learned about how to tell the time on an analog clock, which is a clock with hands, like what we can see in front of us. Um, and this week, we're going to be learning how to tell the time um, to the nearest quarter of an hour, but on a digital clock. Um, now, what you need to remember when you're reading the time on a digital clock is that we've got the hours that come first and the minutes come second. Now, at the moment, the digital digital clock we, we, have, we can see on our screen at the top right corner is um, in 12 hour time. OK, so we know that there are 24 hours in a day. Um, so the time would that this does affect the digital time. But we're not going to look at 24 hour clock this week. We're just going to stick with 12 hour digital time. So that means that there are two eight o'clocks, 8 a.m., which is in the morning, and 8 p.m., which is in the evening. So as you can see here, the digital time is 8 p.m. So this is 8 o'clock in the evening, okay? Um, now, what you need to remember with digital time is when you're telling it to the quarter of an hour, is um, a quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. So let's just have a look and remember, recap on the previous lesson that when we move the big hand, um, which is the minutes hand, all of these little notches that are in between each number, that, that is one minute that has passed. So if your the big hand goes from the 12 to this first notch, that is one minute that's passed. And again, two minutes that have passed. So going from one number to the next number would be five minutes. So going from o'clock to quarter past is going to be 15 minutes. Okay, so we are counting our quarters in 15s because there are one, two, three, four quarters on the clock and there are four sets of 15 minutes. So 15, 15, 15 and 15. Okay, so if you are looking at the time and it's on your digital on your digital clock and the time says 8.15, you know that that is quarter past eight. Okay, so let's move the, move the minutes hand again to the next quarter. So this is two quarters along or half past eight. And we would read half past eight on a digital clock 15 later. So quarter past eight would be 8.15, Half past eight, we add another 15 minutes on, so that would be 8.30, because 15 adds 15 makes 30. So 8.30 is how we would tell the time digitally, and on the clock it would be half past eight. Let's move our minute hand again the next quarter. So we're three quarters of the way around the clock, and now... If we were telling the time digitally, we would say the time is 8.45 p.m. Or if we were telling the time on the clock, the analog clock, we would say quarter to nine. And as you can see that we've counted in 15, it would be 15, 30, 45. And to the next hour, so if we move our analog clock hand all the way around, and it's now a new hour. So a new hour is no minutes at all. That is o'clock is zero, zero minutes. Now it's nine o'clock. And then the pattern starts again. So the pattern would be in quarters, nine, 15, nine, 30, nine, 45, 10 o'clock. So let's just quickly go through some of the additional times that it might be. And we're going to count together, okay? So 10 o'clock, 10, 12 o'clock. 
twelve forty five. One o'clock. One fifteen. One thirty. One forty five. Two o'clock. Okay, we're going to stop there. Um, now I'm going to put some times up on the board and we're just going to read them and see what time it is on the analog clock and on the digital clock. You can see now that we've passed, once we pass 12, it's no longer p.m. anymore because 12 midnight, which is 12 o'clock in the night time, um, is not a p.m. time. It changes over into the morning and then the morning is 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., all the way up until midday. Okay, right, so let's have a little go. I'm going to spin this around. Ooh, and what time is it? It is 3.45 a.m. What time is it? It is 4.30 a.m., which is half past four. What time is it? It is 6.15 a.m., which is quarter past six. What time is it? It is 7 a.m., which is seven o'clock. And we're going to stop there. I hope you found this useful um, and I hope that this video will help you to understand the connection between the digital times, the different numbers and what they mean. So we've got hours first, minutes next, and then whether it's morning or afternoon, a.m., p.m., um, and how they link to the analog clock. And remember that the notches that are in between each number, they show how many minutes go past and that every quarter is 15 minutes. Um, good luck and I hope this helps you.